Welcome back to another video guys. Please subscribe to my channel. It may be a small thing for you guys, but it's a big thing for us YouTubers. So please do subscribe to my channel. Like and share this video as well. Watch this video until the end. May peace and blessings be upon you. We've heard so many webtoons, especially all us Manhua fans, including me. Webtoons with psycho trash does in them have been our guilty pleasure. Here is a list of some trash does that I remember very well. Number one, rash da. The term trashta originated from this one. Pretty much all us Manhoa readers know this. So trashta, uh, I mean rashta, was the concubine of our crappy emperor Sovishit. Uh, I mean Sovishu. This woman, in her concubine days, would always cry and act like such a damsel in distress just to get the emperor's attention and get Navier in trouble. And the stupid emperor always gave her what she wanted. After she married the emperor and became the empress, she couldn't handle any duties of an empress. She couldn't tackle the snobby, arrogant nobleman and woman. After marriage, she realizes that Sovishu isn't the type to love and care for someone, and even Sovishu, at this point, was so done with her crybaby behavior. Aside from that, she's been nothing more than a brooding heifer, collecting all the illegitimate babies. No self-respect! Was she okay with Sovishu thinking of her as a baby carrier? because that is the only thing concubines were for. And also to satisfy the males of high status in their bedchambers. <clears throat> Number two, Soomin Jeong. Now this little trash dog, just like the previous one, is also a crybaby and completely blind to trashy men. She thinks real men would give in to her mind games. She is that fake friend who will try to make you look bad in every kind of way, so that she could look like the perfect catch in comparison. She has this I am a perfect hero and slash main character syndrome. It's great that she married the trashy men who won. Number 3, Yura Han. This trashta is the protagonist's stepsister. Yura gets the main character, Iju, married to the guy who always liked Yura. She probably did this to get the main character out of her way so she could marry the male lead, but got rejected by him. Good job, male lead. Even though she got rejected by him, she still pursues him after he gets engaged to the main character. The protagonist gets her revenge on Yura for trying to ruin her life. Number 4. Isabella de Mare. This female serpent is a spoiled, entitled brat who gets easily jealous when her stepsister, the protagonist, gets positive attention. Her entitlement and greed is so deep that she can't lose it to the protagonist or anyone else, even if she never wanted it before. She is so power hungry that her loyalty lies towards men who have power. For example, if she's married to one guy who has power and then loses it, she'll ditch him and marry another man who has power and position. Number 5. Reina Lopez. Just like Yura and Isabella, this Trashta is also the main character's stepsister. She was rarely shown in the story because the main character got married and was living with her husband, but whenever I saw her in the story, she made my blood boil. She was an accomplice in the death of the protagonist. The other accomplice was her boyfriend, Skiff. She asks this guy to woo the protagonist, just like Yura. To be honest, I don't think he even genuinely loved Reina. He probably married her for her status and money. Also, Reina's face when she finds out that her boyfriend got arrested was one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. So these were the trash tas that I remember. Let me know in the comments if there is any other trash ta you know about.